welcome back to another episode of Horror Theory. It was a dark and stormy night and Sarah was alone in her new apartment. She had just moved to the city to start a new job and she was excited to begin this new chapter of her life. But as the storm raged on outside, Sarah felt a sense of unease creeping over her. Suddenly, she heard a loud noise coming from the closet. She tried to ignore it at first, but the noise grew louder and louder and louder. It sounded like something was scratching at the door, trying to get out. Sarah cautiously approached the closet and slowly opened the door. To her horror, she saw a small, old-fashioned doll sitting on the top shelf. Its eyes seemed to follow her as she, as she stared at it, and she couldn't shake the feeling that it was alive. As the night wore on, strange things began to happen in Sarah's apartment. Doors would open and close on their own, and objects would move inexplicably. Sarah started to feel like she was being watched, like there was someone or something in the apartment with her. She tried to tell herself that she was just being paranoid, that it was all in her head. But as the doll continued to stare at her, in its unblinking eyes, she knew that something was very wrong. Days turned into weeks, and Sarah's sense of unease only grew stronger. She started to have nightmares about the doll, the dreams of its crawling out of the closet and attacking her in her sleep. One night, as she was lying in bed, Sarah heard a faint whispering sound coming from the closet. She strained to hear what it was saying, but it was too quiet to make out. The next morning, she decided to investigate. She climbed up the top shelf of the closet and reached for the doll. As she picked it up, she heard the whispering sound again, only this time it was louder. She held the doll up to her ear and listened carefully. To her horror, she realized that the doll was whispering her name. Sarah tried to th throw the doll away, but it always seemed to find its way back to her apartment. No matter where she put it, it would always end up back in her closet, staring at her with its unblinking eyes. One night, Sarah couldn't take it anymore. She grabbed the doll and ran out of her apartment, determined to get rid of it all at once. But as she was walking down the street, she heard the whispering sound again. She looked down at the doll in her arms and saw that its mouth was moving, as if it was trying to speak. Suddenly, the doll's eyes began to glow with an otherworldly light, and Sarah felt a cold, bony hand wrap around her ankle. She looked down to see the doll's arm stretching out towards her, its mouth open in a silent scream. Sarah screamed and tried to run, but the doll's grip was too strong. It dragged her back towards the apartment its eyes glowing brighter and brighter. And then everything went black. Sarah was never seen or heard from again. Legend has it, the haunted doll still lurks in that apartment, waiting for its next victim. Some say that if you listen closely, you can still hear it whispering Sarah's name in the dead of night. Subscribe for daily horror stories.